is going on, man? Welcome back to another one. It is your boy, Fat Cat, of course, with the same clothes on as the last video. <laughs> so, yes, I'm making another video as I'm driving home, man. Um, you know, I got to use my time wisely, man. So, what are we going to talk about today, man? This is another little bonus video. So, the so this video is going to talk about, as you guys see the thumbnail, uh, best advice to start a YouTube channel, man. Again, this is... These little videos like this are, are that I do, like I said, kind of the second little post of the day or the second upload is pretty much what, uh, you know, what I get a lot of questions on and things like that. So now one of the other questions that I get a lot of is, what's your advice for me to start a YouTube channel? Uh, I've said this a couple times already in some of my videos, man, but let's do a whole video dedicated to it, right? Or at least a, hopefully it's a short video. So my advice, man, point blank period first, and all be all advice man if you want to start a youtube channel first of all you got to make sure that you can be consistent that is the number one advice man i cannot stress that enough you have to be consistent if you want to start a youtube channel man. that's what i tell every single person every single body even in person man people ask me you know what so so how do i start a youtube so what should i do to start a youtube channel you just got to be consistent man and i'm still kind of you know i'm still small obviously i mean i'm nowhere near nowhere i'm not even medium yet you know <laughs> so i'm still super small man about to hit 5,000 subscribers first by the way greatly appreciate everybody who subscribed um uh and, and, and supporting the channel man but yeah man uh so even but even with me man like i said even at 5,000 subscribers i guess for a lot of people even that would be you know kind of hard to achieve or at least they think it'll be kind of hard to achieve so like i said number one thing is man, you got to be consistent you have to post especially when you're first starting out man when you are first 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 starting out you have to post at a minimum man at a minimum 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 i would say three times a week minimum i was posting every about every three days which probably equates to that two to three days probably equates about every you know about three times a week man but you have to post two to three times a week actually on three times a week at a minimum about every three days two to three days I mean that's bare minimum man that's for your that's for your you know for your uh your your videos to get any kind of traction at all and like i said i said that in my other one of my other videos you know if you don't post like that or that regularly you know you're not going to see a lot of traction and it's not because nobody wants to see you it's because youtube just won't put it out there youtube nobody can see it nobody's going to know that you're out there YouTube in their algorithm, they're not gonna put the video out there. They're not gonna recommend it for other people. That's how you get most of your views, man. You get most of your views by the recommended recommendation list on the side of somebody else's video, pretty much. And if you're never on that little list, you know, if you're never on that little list, then nobody's ever gonna see you. Period. It's just the way it works. You know what I'm saying? As you now, as you keep going, you can keep gaining momentum. Then obviously, you know, more and more and more people that subscribe to your channel and and, are, and hit that little notification bell then hopefully you can catch those people and they'll be repeat viewers right but when you first start out man you gotta you gotta try your hardest to get on that recommendation list it is what it is man i mean that's that's how you get out there right because if you're not then again nobody's gonna know so you gotta be consistent man you gotta you gotta uh post regularly the second thing you gotta have some type of uh obviously you gotta have some type of editing software people ask me what i edit with i have a pc i don't have a mac if you have a Mac, I believe you could just use iMovie or something like that. Um, I haven't had a Mac. I, I do plan on getting a Mac here soon or, you know, eventually. So, I would then try that. God, I don't know if you guys can hear Christine, but, man, she back there crackling and popping. It's crazy. Anyway, so, I use a PC. So, if being that I use a PC, um, I use Filmora. I don't know if you can use Filmora on Mac as well, but uh, I know I use Filmora, F-I-L-M-O-R-A. Um, I used them and uh, I forget what the cost was but I think it was just a one time cost of maybe like a hundred bucks or whatever and there you go and then that's it and then you, you can use it forever like I've never paid them again basically one time fee one time payment you buy the program and then you use it so I use for more man it's it's not a it's not a, a, a end all be all you could do everything and make the greatest video ever uh, uh, editing program or software but it gets the job done man it's enough where uh, you know you can do certain little things and basically it's uh, it's it's a very good beginner uh, editing software program man 
uh, uh, editing program. So, feel more, man. So you need that. The third thing I would say is, you do not need to go out there and break the bank, man. Do not go out there and break the bank. Trying to make sure, you know, trying to trying to wait so you can get the best camera. You want to wait so you can get the best, you know, all your set, all your, uh, uh, you know, your whole setup. No, man, don't do that. Do not do that. Literally, what you have, what you use every single day. I don't know where mine is. There you go. What you use, what you use every single day, man. You can use that for your videos, man. There's so many people that use their iPhones. So many people that use their regular, you know, whatever Android phones. I would say for filming, probably I, I'm an Android person, but probably for filming and all that, I would say probably iPhone is probably a little bit better from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, man, you could just use your phone, man. If you got a GoPro, use that. If you got, you know, anything, man, just use anything to capture to capture it. Forget about video quality and all those others. So for sure, you want the best video quality you can get, right? But at the end of the day, don't let that hold you back, man. If you have or if you can use. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, your regular phone, then use that. Build up to the other thing, man. Like I said, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, as everybody says, right? Um, you know, your biggest companies were not built in a day, man. A lot of these people, you know, you got to start from the ground up, man. Like I said, Microsoft, man, these dudes started in their garage. You know what I'm saying? They started in their garage, man. So, um, you know, all these rappers and all these people that, whatever, they start by selling music out of well back in the day anyway now you can just throw it up on on the internet on youtube and you'd be good <laughs> but back in the day man you know people you know people used to sell music out their trunk man like that's how they did that's how they did it they built it up you know what i'm saying so don't try to be the the number one guy you know or girl uh and, and have all the latest and greatest setup before you think you can start your youtube man don't do that because you're doing yourself a disservice all right and I would say the last thing, man, is you have to be able to be patient because, again, I mentioned this before, you got to be patient, man. There is no way that you will uh, uh, be like the number one YouTuber in the world within like two or three months. It's not going to happen, man. Hopefully, you might get a, you might start gaining a little bit. Cool. But, you know, you're not going to be the top YouTuber. I mean, it's just not what it is. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have patience. Um, you know, hopefully within about six or seven months, you'll start seeing a little bit more progress. But again, if you don't post regularly, it's never going to happen. But if you post regularly, you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, man. Within, I would say, four to six months, you'll start seeing some type of some type of uh, progression. And, and but you got to keep at it, man. So at the end of the day, have a little bit of patience, man. Don't put up one video, two videos, and think that your first video is going to go viral because everybody's going to want to see this. But again, like I said, you might literally have the best video on YouTube, hands down, man. On your very first video, you might be a natural at it. But guess what? At the end of the day, like I said, nobody's going to see it. Why? Because you're not out there, man. And YouTube's just not going to put your video out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. It's just that's the way it works. So you got to have patience, man. You got to have patience, all right? Don't get discouraged if your first video gets three, v three views. I mean, that's what it is, man. It's going to gonna be your mom. Your dad and your brother and your sister, or maybe your girlfriend or your boyfriend. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's just the nature of the game, man. So uh, don't get don't get discouraged and just keep going, man. Eventually, you'll get there. Man, oh look at that one. God, that car's beat up. Man, Florida, we gotta do better, man. We gotta do better, Florida. Woo. One of the main, main, main things you gotta uh, have with YouTube, man, or at least if you wanna start a YouTube channel, you gotta have tough skin, man. You cannot be sensitive. If you're sensitive, this is not the thing for you to do, man. Cause let me tell you something about the internet. Everybody's a tough guy, a tough girl. Everybody has the best, uh, you know, opinions. Everybody has your opinions. Everybody has the best ideas to do with whatever it is that you're doing the best ideas for your life man so you gotta have tough skin man if you don't if you're super sensitive dude i'm telling you right now man don't even post on youtube because you know most of it's going to be positive but lot, you know a lot of it's going to be negative as well so i would say about 90 95 percent of it's going to be positive stuff but you're going to have those 10 percent you know
know, five to ten percent of stuff is gonna be negative, man. It is what it is. It's just, it's just the nature of it. It's the internet. So if you don't, so if you can't sit there and laugh at it, or, or just shrug it off your shoulders, or just ignore it, you know me. I, I like to, I like to comment. I comment on everybody's stuff. So, you know, so if you got something negative to say to me, then I'm gonna address it at the end of the day. It's just, you know, it just is. It is, it is what it is. I'm not afraid or trying to protect an image or something like that where I'm just gonna try to, you know, uh, you know, not say this or not say that or ignore it because it'll just be best to save face and whatnot, nah, man. As you guys, if you guys been watching my videos, man, you guys know that I'm not, I'm not really big on the, uh, you know, I just wanna make sure, I, uh, you know, everybody's happiness and that. Like, and again, I'm not saying that as far as, I don't care about my subscribers and what they feel and everything else, but at the end of the day, like I said, if you got something negative to say about it, man, then, you know, like I said, the beautiful thing about YouTube is that you can uh, easily click off of it, unsubscribe or whatever, so that way you don't gotta deal with watching that person anymore. I mean, that's the beauty about YouTube, right? Um, so anyway, so the same thing, man. So if you are starting, wanna get into this line of business, I guess if you wanna call it that, you cannot have be sen you cannot be sensitive gotta have tough skin you can't let little things get to you man you can't let what people say on the internet and their comments get to you period man so i would say i would say i would say that's probably one of the main 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 things because if you do let it get to you man you're you're gonna break down you're gonna cry and you're gonna you know be depressed and everything else man because you know man these guys they go on there and they type whatever they type and then they go about their business you know what i'm saying and then they go troll the next the next channel or whatever man so it is what it is, man. So, like I said, so if you can't if you can't handle that, don't do it, man. But I think that's pretty much it, man. Um, I, I don't know what it, I think. I, I feel like I'm missing one or two things, but I don't really know. So, if you got any questions, please comment down below. Hit me up on IG, like, as I always say. Got no problems with answering your questions. Um, like I said, I just wanted to throw this video out there because a lot of people always ask me, "What? Are, hey, man, what's your? Uh, you know, you got." any advice on me starting what I want I want to start one I don't know where to start this and that so my little advice is uh, out there and, and like I said I'm I'm not a big youtuber by by any means so I'm not uh, I guess qualified to, to, to let you know how to be a super 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 successful youtuber because I'm not there yet myself so I, I don't know if my channel will ever get there I mean yeah of course um, you know we wanted to and we got you know the vision for it and everything else man but I don't know you never know man you never know if it's gonna get there or not man so you know I'm just I'm just I'm just making sure I'm doing my part in it and that's it so I can't give you that advice as far as how you're gonna get to 500,000 subscribers how you're gonna get to a million subscribers couldn't tell you I just know that every single day I get you know a sub here and a sub there so uh, uh, I just try to get you know so I know as long as I get at least one more sub a day I know that I'm doing something right and as long as I just keep going one sub a day you know uh, hey that's good enough for me and I know eventually uh you know the channel will get to where it needs to be so that's pretty much it man but yeah other than that uh, I, I don't really have anything else to say like I said if you have any questions man make sure you guys let me know below you got no problems with answering your questions obviously uh, so other than that man like comment subscribe hit that notification bell right got a lot of things coming up with christine and scores like i always say man you guys know this you guys know the deal man so man make sure you guys hit that like comment subscribe hit that notification bell like i just said man and of course i'm your boy fat cat man and we'll see you guys on the next one man make it out